and welcome back to another video this is crypto coins and in this video we're gonna go over meta reserve this is the first fully docs DAO. what does that mean this is the first transparent and public with not an anonymous team DAO that i've seen hit the markets we're gonna go over what the project is doing who they are backed by and who is running this project this is a very interesting DAO. this is the first DAO i've seen of its kind we're going to go over their site, we'll go over their app, how it functions, what they're doing, and their roadmap for 2022. Let's start off with their website. The decentralized reserve currency empowering multiple platforms. Meta Reserve is a community-owned decentralized financial protocol built to empower revolutionary ideas. We bring you the metaverse of innovations. We give you power. Their token symbol is power. Supported by Lion Group Holding. LTD. This is a publicly traded company in the US markets in the NASDAQ under the ticker symbol LGHL, powered by Riona Digital Asset KFT. Meta Reserve is designed and built by Riona Digital Assets KFT, a team of financial and technological veterans. The world's first decentralized autonomous organization, DAO, supported by a publicly listed company on NASDAQ, Line Group Holding limited and this is true i've never seen a dow being backed by an actual company that is trading in the american stock markets they have a video here introductory video i'll play a snippet of the video a little bit later when we go over their docs how metal reserve works number one treasury revenue bonds and lp fees bonds and lp fees increase treasury revenue lock in liquidity and help control power supply this is pretty standard, very familiar to other DAOs uh, where you can stake and bond. Treasury growth, Meta Reserve's treasury, asset received by the treasury increases its balance, backing power and creating exponential value and unmatched upside for investors. Protocol contributions incubate and accelerate. The treasury brings you an on-chain venture fund where the DAO decides on every incubation or partnership decision Revenue generated from each investment will further enhance the overall health of the treasury. Number four, staking rewards. Power token. Stake power to gain more power. The DAO uses its protocol controlled value to reward token holder with exceptional yields on auto compounding basis. So the DAO will decide the faith of the protocol on the different projects they are going to venture into. This is pretty standard as far as providing liquidity, bonding, and staking. Metaverse of Innovations. They're building an infrastructure and a network where they will incubate different projects. And through the backing of the supported publicly traded company, they're able to do so. And if you scroll down to the bottom of the website, you actually see the faces of the team. This is a fully docs transparent team as if it was a publicly traded company. Great ideas require great leaders. Envisioned by a team of professionals from the financial and technological industry. So they're not keeping it vague and anonymously. And later in the video, we'll go over each individual roles and how they contribute to this DAO. Let's take a look at their documents and see what they're doing. I already read the introduction. It gives you a little bit of background about the industry and the anonymous projects that are being released and how they're completely transparent and what separates them from any other project. I highlighted some key features here that really stand out. Meta Reserve is designed and built by a credible team of known professionals and being the first of its kind to be supported by a publicly listed company, Line Group Holding LTD. The experienced team of veterans of both Riona and Lion Group would be responsible for managing the treasury's assets efficiently, where each decision is made with the consent of the community. Meta Reserve will take the lead in developing the world's first metaverse of innovations, incubating and partnering blockchain-enabled games, DeFi, NFT, and metaverse projects. They're creating a community of incubation and expansion that is driven by the DAO and supported by a publicly traded company. Awesome. Riona Digital Assets, KFT, aims to fuse new technologies with trading patterns, market trends, and historical data in order to enhance trading abilities by utilizing AI technology to analyze vast amounts of data. 
creating favorable algorithms and identifying favorable trades regardless of rising or falling values. Line Group Holding LTD LGHL, was founded in 2015 and based in Hong Kong. Line Group Holding LTD is fully committed to building the world's top one-stop, cross-chain, high-expansion, non-fungible token NFT marketplace and entering metaverse space through blockchain technology. So Lines Group Holding has been established for about over six years now and they're expanding into bringing meta reserve and digital assets. And here they're re-emphasizing the logistics of the DAO. And lastly, I want to read over here from the introduction. With a growing community and partners, Meta Reserve aims to launch Meta Dex in 2022, a multi-chain enabled decentralized exchange. They are scheduled to create their own Dex. We want to provide a seamless experience for both users and partners, allowing convenient listing tokens and user-friendly destination to trade. It is no longer a one-stop solution for users, investors, but also for our partners, where a full suite of services is provided, tailored for each project's success. The Meta Reserves Treasury provides financial assistance or acceleration and the Metaverse provides a virtual destination for our partners to have a far and wide outreach. Metadex allows convenient listing of tokens and seamless trading experience for all users, garnering further community growth and bringing in more liquidity to our exchange, thus enhancing the overall financial health of Meta Reserve. Our final development would be MetaBank, a lending borrowing platform for the community. The end goal here is to incubate and create a whole ecosystem and then creating a DEX and a bank for lending and borrowing all under one umbrella. Pretty huge, pretty ambitious, and they have a strong team behind them. This is why this DAO catch my attention. And if we take a look at the roadmap, they've completed a lot of their plans. Uh, they are actually already listed on CoinGecko and CoinMarketCap. A lot of new things coming in for this month. Uh, we do have an audit here pending uh, for Q1, so that's planned. And if we scroll down, we see the decks here for Q2 and the bank for Q3. For Q4, we're looking at incubate and develop new projects for treasury growth. And that is their roadmap. And now let's go over each individual team member. Mr. George McCluskey, Chief Executive of Meta Reserve. A senior executive in the oil and gas industry specializing in cyber and data security. He has led several successful mergers and acquisitions of some of the world's largest energy giant and developed system analytics and security protocol for offshoring rigging, which is now used as an industry standard. Mr. McCluskey is now at the forefront of AI advancements, implementing new technologies to innovate and improve existing systems and protocols. Very nice resume there, and now expanding into AI advancements. Pretty impressive. Now let's go over Mr. Thomas Poxa, Chief Operations. Mr. Thomas Poxa, Masters in Economics, leads the role of Chief Operations, an established fund manager, head of European operations at Innovative Securities New Zealand, and led strategic operations for MBI International in Vienna and London with past experiences in private and investment banking with GE Money and Concord Securities. Let's take a look at the marketing director, Melinda Hegedus. Melinda is our marketing director with over 10 years of experience in digital marketing and design, having worked with companies like Papa John's and Eden Henris, very familiar with Papa John's here in the States. Her skill set is very diverse, ranging from digital illustration and social media marketing to UI and web design. She is also the founder of the vegan brand Veganesca, which utilizes digital art and social media platforms to raise awareness about environmental issues. Melinda brings with her a wealth of marketing experience and knowledge from several international educational institutions, including CLTA Toronto, Canada, Budapest University of Technology and Economics, Hungary, Arendel Voxenaplerin in Norway, and the Vraj University in Amsterdam, the Netherlands. Well experienced there for Melinda. Now let's look into Pavlo Yermolov, Director Business Development and Strategy. Dr. Pavlo Yermolov 
held various senior management roles at MTB Bank, Spurbank, and Commerce Bank Group. Dr. Pablo was a member of the supervisory board of the MTB Bank, led the transformation of MTB Bank's corporate governance, and conducted major government relation projects at Commerce Bank. Dr. Pablo holds a PhD in finance and economics, a postgraduate in insolvency management, and master's in financial management. Another heavy hitter. And now let's go to the communications executive, Anna Bozo. Anna is passionate about communication and connecting people to aid and drive clients to the right direction. She has 10 years work experience in the logistics and IT support service sector. After mastering her personal skills as an entrepreneur, she moved on the International League, joining Cognizant, a company that is ranked among the top providers for data and AI services. With her previous experience, she later mastered logistics systems alongside sales and client care. Anna is now a fellow crypto enthusiast and is eager to support and grow with our community. Very nicer out of Anna. And lastly, let's go over the administrative officer, Lila Ivanix. Lila has over 12 years of management experience in some of the most premier and internationally recognized brands such as the Barclays Intercontinental Hotel of Midtown Manhattan and the Selfietel Group in Sardinia. And I am familiar with both of them. Not necessarily in Sardinia, but I'm familiar with Sofitel. A master of languages and a world traveler, she is fluent in English, Hungarian, Spanish, and Italian, and is currently pursuing a degree in Mandarin Chinese. Her true passion is developing dynamic interpersonal relations and serving her clients. And that is the Meta Reserve team. Each individual member contributes something special and this is not a new team. This is not the first rodeo. They are combining the new technology of crypto DAO projects and implementing it with a experienced team to bring something special. Now let's take a quick look at their promo video and hear a few words from the team. Hi everyone, I'm George McCluskey, CEO of Meta Reserve, a product buying of Iona Digital Assets. In recent months, Metaverse and decentralized finance are among the most trending topics in the blockchain world. We're all very excited about the future and want you to be too. Meta Reserve is a decentralized reserve currency protocol, the first reserve currency supported by a public listed company, Lion Group Holdings. We are a team of capable veterans both within the financial and technological industry. Meta Reserve aims to be one of the world's largest DOs and protocols governed by its community. We welcome all individuals and communities alike to join us on this bold journey of ours. In this era of technological advancement and revolutions, we are creating an immersive metaverse of innovations where you can virtually witness the birth of blockchain enabled games and new innovative DeFi platforms. We want to bring the world of digital opportunities to you. Meta Reserve aims to support a broad ecosystem and it's chain agnostic. We have chosen to build on Binance Launcher simply because it has one of the strongest network of projects, users and low fees, and battle tested development solutions. More than a reserve currency protocol, we want to efficiently utilize the assets of our treasury to incubate or partner with promising projects around the world. And you will be the decision maker. The objective is clear. Growing the community. Growing the treasury. To ensure sustainable economics. Once we have achieved our key milestones, we want to bring you a multi-chain enabled DEX, which will be a convenient destination for our partners to launch their tokens for trading and the user-friendly experience for our community. It's refreshing to see a fully transparent team and putting themselves out there in front of this DAO project. Pretty cool. And this site is very well organized. If you go to their contract section, you click tokens here and you have the power contract and the honor, which is what you receive once you stake. If you go to bonds here, these are the current two offered bond LP tokens addresses. If we go to staking, these are the addresses where you can see all the stake tokens, all the tokens in the warm up period when you bond, and the helper contract. 
you can click here and go to the BSE scan and see their current holdings, 100% transparent. And these are their bonding contracts. Very nicely well put there. Now let's go over their treasury. The treasury contract holds all the funds collected by the protocol. If for instance, a user purchases a BUSD bond, the bonded BUSD is fully taken in by the treasury in return for the market equivalent of power bonded. New power will be minted based on the risk-free value of the treasury assets. And here we have the treasury contract address and how the treasury will be used. Up to 15% will be allocated for marketing, up to 30% will be allocated for incubation, partnerships, or investments. This will be the initially planned allocation. However, these may be changed in the future and will be advised by the Meta Reserve team and voted by the community. And here is a treasury address. You can click here and see their current holdings. Everything is 100% transparent. And if we go to their links, it gives you all the corresponding links to the DAO. Now let's take a look at their app. It's a very nice sleek looking interface. Uh, if we go to their dashboard, they're currently offering 225,000 APY there. Uh, the power price right now, it's at $20. The market cap is $1.7 million there, and the current index is 1.24. And we have the circulating supply here in full circulation. Backing by power, $17.86. If we go to the stake portion of the app, this is a very familiar interface. This is basic 3.3 staking, giving you an APY of 225,000%. The ROI right now, the current five day rate is 11.15% there very nice and it works in eight hour increments the next reward yield is 0.7 percent let's go to their bond section they only have it's not over cluttered or confusing they only have two ways to bond here for those discounts you can provide a power busd lp token here or busd token and both give you a better rate currently right now instead of just normal staking uh, the ROI here on BUSD is 18% and the current rate for a power BUSD LP token is 20%. And those are the discounts. So if we take a look at their staking, their current ROI is 11% and by bonding you're getting paid here 18% and 8.85%. So you're better off just providing BUSD at this moment. They also have a calculator here to project your returns. They also have a public forum where you can ask questions. And down here you have GitHub, Medium, Twitter, Telegram, and Discord. So you can easily reach out to the team, no problem. Fully transparent. Now let's go over how to get involved and stake or bond here for Meta Reserve. You're going to need a MetaMask wallet or a Trust wallet. Either wallet will work for this token. This token is built on the Binance Smart Chain. And if you don't have the Binance Smart Chain network installed in your MetaMask, this is what you're going to have to do. Go to your MetaMask wallet and select here on the top right. Go to settings, scroll down, go to networks, add network. It will prompt you to this page. Now you need to go to this website to the Binance Academy website to get the information needed to connect this network into your MetaMask. I will leave a link under the description of this video for all these reference links. Now you wanna to go to this page and scroll down and go here, mainnet. This is the one you're probably looking for. There's a testnet, you don't want the testnet, you want the mainnet. And you just simply copy you come in here and you paste and you copy this new new RPC URL and you paste here chain ID 56 and symbols BNB this chain ID is currently used by the BSC mainnet network this is popping up because I already have this installed but if you don't this will not show up and copy the symbol. You put it here 
And lastly, the block explorer. Here and here. Once you're done, you press save and it adds the smart chain network. Now you'll be able to hold the power token in this wallet. For Trust Wallet, you don't need to do anything. The Binance Smart Chain is already integrated in your Trust Wallet. So you'll be saving this extra step. Now what you want to do is go to PancakeSwap. Go to Trade, Exchange. You will need BNB or BUSD in order to buy the power token. I recommend BNB since that's the native network token and you need it for gas fees. Uh, you can purchase BNB on the Binance US or Binance exchanges, also KuCoin or Hotbit, a lot of the major exchanges has BNB. Buy BNB in any of the exchanges, transfer it over to your MetaMask or your Trust Wallet, and then come here to PancakeSwap. Once you're in PancakeSwap, uh, you select BNB or BUSD, and instead of Cake, we want to add the power token. So, in order to add the power token, we need to go back to their docs, go here to the left side, under Meta Reserve Tokens, select Power, and here is the information for the contract. Power contract address, you wanna right click it and copy it. Go back to PancakeSwap and paste it here. And there you have it, Power. Now you can buy Power here. Once you have the power token in your wallet, now you're able to stake it. You come here, you select stake, connect wallet. You can either select MetaMask or Wallet Connect. If you select MetaMask here, your MetaMask will be prompted. You select which wallet you wanna connect, connect. And now I'm connected. It says, allow this site to switch the network. I'm currently in the Avalanche network on my MetaMask. So now I want to switch it to the BSC mainnet, switch network. And now my MetaMask will be connected. And that's how you connect your MetaMask to this application. Now, if you would like to connect your trust wallet, you hit connect, wallet connect. You want to open up your trust wallet on your phone, then select on the bottom right settings. And then here in the middle, wallet connect and then new connection. Once a QR code scanner comes out, you want to scan the QR code. And here you want to make sure you select main wallet smart chain here, or else you won't have the power show up on the application. And then you select connect. And now you're connected to the application. Now you'll see the next reward yield and the five day rate. Also, in order to stake, you're going to have to approve the transaction and you're gonna need a little bit of BNB for the gas fees. So make sure you have BNB in your wallet. Each of these approvals cost around 20 cents. So before you stake, you're going to have to approve this application to the network in order for you to stake. You approve it, it's gonna charge you a fee. And then you're gonna have to come back in here and press uh, stake afterwards. So the first time is just to approve it. The second time is to stake. And this is going to show you how much you would like to stake. So just make sure you read through each process. You're going to have to do this about two times. Once to approve the network, the other one to actually pay for the transaction. Same thing for the bonding. And that is how you get involved with Meta Reserve. Not only is it the first fully docked DAO, it's also supported by a publicly traded company in the US. And the team is transparent. They have a strong team with a powerful resume and experience. And this is the latest from the DAO projects. I think we're going to start seeing more and more projects bridging over into crypto from legacy financial markets into projects like this. And it's just exciting to see one of these companies taking a step forward and being the first to actually do it. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. Make sure to add this one into your watch list. And if you enjoyed this content and found this content of any value, make sure to like and subscribe. Check out the links down below. You can support this channel with Patreon. I also have a full course of a 1% trading bot and also Discord. You can join Discord. Discord is free. We're constantly exploring new projects just like this 
in my Discord. A lot of people ask me, where do I find these projects? And a lot of these projects pop up in my Discord. So make sure to check that out. Thank you very much, guys. That's going to do it for this one. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.